Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. Nice to finally speak. see you. How are you doing? Doing well. I spoke to Barbara about a different film the other day, um, Sacrifice, and she, she, she mentioned a little bit about this film. She said that it's, it's kind of been brewing in the pot for quite a while. Now, I think there's something that you've wanted to get off the ground for quite a while. Can you tell me a bit about where it's come from and where the idea kind of stems from? Well, she had been sent the script, I think, five years ago uh, from Shriekfest, Horrorfest. It was a, a winner, screenplay winner there. And she read it and was like, oh, I could really see myself playing this character. It was written by Mark Steenland. And uh, so she spent years just sort of tinkering with it, meeting with people, trying to get it made. And uh, after Girl on the Third Floor had come out, she thought of me and sent it over. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is a great movie for you to do. And then we started working on the script. And for me, it was, I wanted to bring more of Barbara's truth into the movie, more of her experience as, as a woman who's been married for so long. Uh, the character in the film sort of feels like life has uh, gotten a little small and wants to expand. And I feel that that's what happened with Barbara too in her career. She sort of stepped away from acting yeah for so long after doing all these sort of iconic 80s horror movies. And now she was getting back into it. And I was like, oh, there's a great parallel here between your career and, and you as a woman and this character. So we just spent a long time on that script, trying to, you know, talking about what her, her life was like, what she did for fun, what, how she fights in her relationships, how they make up, you know, what they do for dinner, all those little details and mm -hmm. put it in, into the script. Yeah, no, I mean, it's curious you said that because um, pretty much all the way through the film, everything that Barbara does in the film kind of brought me back to her heydays and really kind of made me, it was almost like um, a coming of age film for Barbara in a way. And instead of, I mean, whenever she never did a kind of carry type film back in the day, but she gets to do it now. And I really love the fact that it's, it's a, that's a kind of a taboo subject nowadays to do a coming of age film for an older woman because older women and older men as well, they get these coming of ages and, and finally someone, you've gone and done it. Yeah. Did, did you I mean, see it like that? Yeah. I mean, that was it. Like I, I read it and I thought, you know, the, the script needed some, some work to bring that out, but you could see it immediately. You're like this and her. And for me, you know, and we, we chatted a bit about it. I was like, this could be her version of uh, Gina Rollins in A Woman Under the Influence or, or Ellen Burstyn in, in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Uh, you know, this sort of a woman on the second stage of her life sort of having a reawakening. And at the same time, it can also be a really, really fun wild horror movie because of the way the story, the story works. So yeah, it was a lot of fun sort of bringing those two elements together. Apart from Barbara, obviously you got Larry, Larry on the other side of the, uh, this, this, this duo, no? And in the, in the same way, it was kind of a coming age of, for him as well because it, he, was, he was blind to everything that's going on um, up until this moment that this, this thing comes into their lives, no? I don't think he, he kind of deviates from, from the path that he's chosen, but there's things there that you, I think you kind of have to, it's quite a precarious line that you walk on, no, with Larry's character in a certain times throughout the film, no? Yeah, I mean, the trick is you don't want to turn that character into a cartoon. And so that was part of why casting Larry was a lot of fun because he had made and starred in one of my favorite alt vampire movies called Habit, yeah. which is his characters losing control and losing his mind. And so to then, whatever it's been, 30, 40 years yeah, later, yeah. to have him play a character who's very in control and have this element happening to his partner was like, oh, on a meta level, that's really funny to me. And, you know, Larry's got such a long uh, track record in genre and in horror films. And he usually comes in and like does a great scene or a couple of scenes and then gets killed. And to start him in this with a haircut, buttoned up, tight, in control, in charge, I'm the husband, and then slowly unravel that. That was a fun uh, trip to go on with him as well. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, I mean, you said that things, there's a lot of kind of connections with Barbara's the real life, no? And I, I kind of felt that for, for both of the characters, that it kind of did feel very real to life in a way. Um, how much did they actually bring to the, to the story of the film once they were both on board? I mean, you said that Barbara kind of tinkered with it quite, 
quite a bit with you beforehand. Did, I mean, imagine they both kind of brought their own ideas once they were on set, no? Yeah, and maybe this is just the fundamentals of filmmaking, but it was obvious that we have such a, a fantastic situation in this story, right? There's a fantasy element that comes in and crazy things happen. So in order to ground that in a reality, we really needed to, to bring a lot of truth to the characters and, and to that relationship. And so that process was phone calls, emails, a lot of work on their own as actors, and then bringing that together and comparing notes. What's the backstory? Where did they go to college? Uh, had they ever had sex before they, they had sex with each other? All of these things that aren't in the film, but that, that sort of flesh out and ground that relationship. Um, and so Barbara brought you know, her truth to it, Larry brought his truth to it, and then you know, a lot of creativity as well, uh, of sort of basically like writing, you know? Thank you.